Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of the cat lady Where we were almost out of the nurse, nursery, the hospital last time, but um, yeah, we ended up in this instead So the question if people can't remember it from the last time was if I live alone um, At the time so uh, I rent a flat, it's quite lovely uh, Um, I live on my own. Oh, not it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? I'm between drugs. I will rate her as I work in a cafe. I thought she was a nurse. Actually, I think uh, she was talking with one of them about how she knew the procedure, so. I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I Yay. admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? I wake up. <laughs> I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony, no. I breakfast cereal, usually I have a cup of tea and read newspaper, I lie in the bed where you can't bring myself to open my eyes. That's not a lot like me in the morning. <laughs> I go to the toilet, doesn't anyone? No, actually not. I put the tree on TV shows. Actually I will take the one I have, that sounds most like me. I lie in bed awake. I can't bring myself to open my eyes. I see. I'm scared of the coming day. I know already what'll happen. And what's that, Susan? Nothing, really. Nothing at all happens in this stupid, empty life. Sometimes I wonder why I even get dressed. What for? For who? I hardly ever get out of the flat anyway. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Well, except for her answer to it, I don't take it that um, negative about being home all day, um, which I am most of the time, I, but I'm not depressed or afraid of what the day will bring. I'm kind of happy what will happen, and I have fun doing stuff like recording these videos for you guys. Um, I... yeah... I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? A cat! <laughs> I wouldn't be... An... It would be nice to have more money, I guess. Money doesn't make people happy. But it helps. <laughs> oh, not really. Um, a good friend, someone I could finally trust. Um, I, I, I know it's really silly, but I wish I was better looking. Well... You are kind of pixelated to look at. Something to fight for, you know. A reason to go on. That's a good one, fact, Something actually. Something to fight for, you know. A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression, or some other form of counseling?
No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Uh. Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine. I'll definitely better than before the accident. I feel like the whole world is against me. Uh, I feel I fine. I'm fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Uh, no. no. Not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Aww. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. Uh, I'll no, take this. of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Uh, I was just a sudden impulse. Uh... I, think I wanted one. to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. Who did you want to know? I'm not even sure now. People, I guess. Everyone. Myself. I don't really know. Please, ask me about something else. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Uh, Not anymore. Uh, I this one. It's strange, but I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cat. It used to make me happy. Antidepressant really did it for me. A long bath. Music. I play the piano when I'm feeling down. My cats. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? People that let down too many, that let me down too many times. I hate it when it <laughs> rains all of the time. Well, that's normal in the country I live. No, it's too much noise really upsets me. Loneliness. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. It's hard to say it could be anything. Well, I think loneliness is actually the worst one here. Also, I know it because of myself because sometimes I'm lonely and I don't have anyone to talk to and I really get depressed and stuff like that. Not not depressed in like a depression, but it, it can't get me down. Like, like, I can have days where I just don't... Loneliness. I wish no, I had to someone to talk to sometimes. Exactly. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend, because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral? And how people will react to your death. <laughs> um, I 
This is a sad one, but it suits her style of living in some way, so I would go with this one. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? Uh, okay. I... I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Okay, this I went is... after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Harry! This is weird. Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. I can't cool. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Okay. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Still locked though. You're not behind me anymore. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. <laughs> really? Your great escape plan is going back and forth? Really? Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Okay, where am I? Oh, there. Uh, can I move again, please? Thank you. How about fled the hospital? I take this as a no because I'm talking to that psychiatry guy. Where am I? Can I go now, please? What are we doing on the roof? Okay, not. Liz. Uh, um. What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. Uh, 
Okay. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? Uh. The one about the woman in A and E? Uh, f um. Uh, I can't remember. It has been a week since I played that part. Actually, I don't think you told me that story. Maybe I didn't. Or maybe you just didn't pay attention like everyone else. But, okay, I can prove to you that I listened. Just don't jump, please. You can prove it? Fine. I'll give you a second chance. Did I tell you about my flatmate? Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? If you really listened, you will remember this one. <sighs> She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care, my family don't care, even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Um... On your wedding day. Do you really think so? You're a liar. You never listened to a single word I said. God dang it. But it's okay. It doesn't really matter anymore. You didn't cause me this pain, this suffering. I have to do this to be free again. Jump with me, Susan. Do it while you still can. No. Well, goodbye. Uh, uh, I, I don't goofed. <laughs> I couldn't remember all the things you told me because I played the game like a week ago last time. So. God dang it. After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked? I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Uh, what? 
game is weird. Oh, no one will see. What the- doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I knew it as soon as I can miss them. I better follow directions. Okay, I have to follow directions. <laughs> God, this game is creepy sometimes. <laughs> okay, there are two doors. Uh, Creepy. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get the rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Waste it. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one always lies. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. Great. Okay. A poke! Okay, ask. Okay, if one always lies and the other always tells the truth. Which door would the other doll point me to? Okay. Oh, I could only ask one question. <laughs> well, that didn't help me at all. Okay. Which door would the adult point me to? If she's the liar, the other door would point me to this door. But if she's telling the truth, then it would be... Here goes nothing!
I don't know if that was right or wrong. I hope it was right. I think he died. Oh. I don't like that sound. And I move. What do we have here? Um I think this is not a good idea. Isn't that Liz? Is, is it? What, what? Treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Okay. Here we go. Uh, something. This one can okay, I can't do anything with them yet. Holy crap, I am um, use use Nope I can't. I'm thinking about sorry. Hello Oh god, I've seen something like this before. The living paintings, except this here is a dead body suspended and wires and tied to a chair. Ugh. What are you You're going to pay for this, you bastard. What do we have in here? Take anything else. Okay, use. Can I combine this one with this one and it won't work.
Okay, there should be something I'm missing. Doesn't seem pleasant. Oh, I have an idea. Let's hope use. What do we have here? wrench okay I think I have what I need to make my weapon enter let's see use use why can't I use any of the things I have <laughs> Pretty sure I have to. Okay, I'm still needing something outside. Okay. Stop the screaming, please. It's annoying. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch! Scream your lungs out! Louder, I said! Yes, but this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a Poem without words. He is wearing a mask and a blindfolded co convinced my dead and now and no one knows about this place. Well looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your body an instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. He is weird. Okay, so I should probably not go there yet. Uh, I'm still missing something though, and I've no. I have no idea what I'm missing at the moment, but I will find out that the next time I can see because I'm going over time now. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. That is going to be creepy next time. But um, yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos and I hope you all have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell.